Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about Frightmare, aka The Horror Star, aka Body Snatchers, and I think we all kind of know why that last one didn't work out, but that's okay. This movie is released in 1983. The director is Norman Thaddeus Vane. There is a thunderstorm going on outside, apparently, so just ignore that. So our movie opens with a group of drama students who steal the body of a recently deceased horror actor who is obviously reminiscent of Vincent Price. They really didn't need to spell that one out. If you're a fan of the genre, you, you knew it. So in doing so, they ultimately end up being the victims of a black magic reanimated corpse who has superpowers and a vendetta to get them back. Which, I mean, do you really blame him because... They stole his corpse, and that's messed up. So, I would like to note that this is Jeffrey Combs' first horror movie debut. And I love Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs is my queen. I just love him. So, it was really, really awesome to see him in this movie knowing this. Because you just kind of pay, like, closer attention to him. Because you want to see how he evolved from his first role to how he has evolved through Reanimator through all of his films, Castle Freak, everything like, I don't know what this is. So it was, it was super cool to see that. My likes. There's a weird futuristic crypt that Conrad, the deceased horror star, is entombed, where they obviously had to break in, and as they break in, one of the screens on the wall was like, oh, hello, grave robbers, this is how you die, that door will be hermetically sealed, and we will pump some toxic poisonous gas in you're gonna be screwed you're gonna be dead in here with me and I'll see you soon I thought that was hilarious and um all the kids knowing that this was gonna happen like throughout the movie there's another part where one of them gets drawn there and it's like you're an idiot because you knew this was gonna happen he pretty much spelled it out if if you're in here you're going to be like me and I'm dead so that that was interesting another like of mine is Conrad, at the end of his life, was, well, probably throughout most of his life, was pretty sassy and insane. So when he does get brought back and he's the killer, it is really believable because he's not this, like, sweet, gentle grandpa. Like, like he's killed people while he's alive, so you, it's, it's not that far of a stretch. Another like is all the nods and references to horror movies up to that point, up till 1983. And as a huge horror fan, I really enjoyed seeing it all in the back of the shots. I liked seeing the Lucio Fulci zombie. That made me very happy. My dislikes. I understand that Conrad is a reanimated corpse that was brought back with magic, but th does that really explain why he has telekinetic and telepathic powers? I don't know. I wasn't completely sold. And... It, it was just strange, and he'd do this weird thing where he'd just pull back on his face really hard when he was magicking you. It was it was odd. Those tight shots of his face really made me think of The Wizard of Gore, the original, the best one, when they would just, like, zoom in super tight, and you could just see his eyes and those crazy eyebrows. So that was, like, a nice nod. I hope maybe that was what it was for, but who knows? I picked up on that, and I liked it. Um... Another dislike of mine is how weirdly comfortable these kids are to steal and desecrate a corpse. Just because it's a famous person doesn't make it okay. Doesn't mean that you get to spend time with them after their time is up. And I thought that was kind of weird. And within the group of friends, they were all okay with it and all okay stealing this body. And then one of them has a change of heart. And she's like, I can't believe we're doing this. This is disgusting. She ends up calling the deceased actor's wife behind everyone's backs. Like, I know where your husband is. You need to come get him. So, I don't know, like, I mean, that's, that's a good thing that she had a change of heart. But still, you were on board with it. Whatever. So, I do give this movie a 3 out of 5. It was a really good watch. It was very entertaining. And very, very 80s, which I love. So 80s, so very 80s horror. That's my jam. Like, I just love it. 
I did find this streaming on Amazon Prime, and it is available also in physical copy, Blu-ray, and DVD. I'm sure that it's probably available streaming on other platforms. I just didn't look too, too hard because a lot of people have Prime. If you don't have Prime, you should probably get Prime. Not sponsored. But have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts on it? Did you like it as much as I did? Did you find it really hokey? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to like the video if you did and hit the bell for notifications of all of my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And I hope you guys check out Frightmare and you love Vincent Price as much as I do, even if this is not a good depiction of him, actually. Just the film role part is Vincent Price. Vincent Price in real life was a sweetie pie. Like I knew him personally. I don't. But have a good one and check this movie out.